Well, we made it. We got parked. There is a lot of people here and it's pretty exciting. Let's go over some things real quick. The goal is to run an average of just under six minutes per mile, a high 77 minutes. So that's the goal. The plan to hit that goal is to go out smart, be probably just a little slower than goal pace, knowing that I can warm up into that and then finish strong. If we look back over the last couple of races that I did, I had the opposite of that approach. I went out way too fast and then kind of slowed down over the last little bit. So today is to really nail the paces and start on pace knowing that I am wanting to finish stronger. Now the reality, no excuses, just the reality of the situation. Uh, my son has been a little sick and I stayed home with him uh, middle of the week. I think I caught a little cold from him, but that's okay. I think if we look back, I've run with colds before I've raced with colds before the best case scenario of a bad situation it's just kind of all uh, sinus and in my head so nothing in my chest and lungs I feel like I can breathe okay we're just gonna go make the best of it no excuse the trainings there I feel pretty good my body feels good um, I had a good day yesterday so we're just gonna go see what happens see what I can produce and that is the the goal the plan and reality so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get warmed up try and find where everything is at I think I got yeah right at an hour before race time so it gives me a little bit of time pin up change I did just kind of just throw all my clothes and shoes in a bag I got to decide on what race shoes to wear there is expected a little bit of rain I don't know if it's actually gonna land or or not so we'll see what happens I feel pretty good. Anina and baby stayed home. Like I said, she's, he's still recovering a little bit. She didn't want to stress him too much about, you know, packing him up and driving and not sure what was going on. So um, she's bummed. She hates missing out on uh, supporting and I'm a little bummed, but I think we got to, that's, that was the best decision. So we're going to go ahead, start getting warmed up and head to the start line. All right. Well, we are back home, able to eat, sleep shower, rehydrate, do all the things after uh, the half today. Um, it wasn't necessarily my best day. If you, It's already up on Strava and maybe you had a chance to look at it. I kinda wanna just touch on some things. Just like I said earlier, it all came true. I, we touched on the, the plan, the goal, the plan, and then the reality. So all of those were true. So I went out according to plan and at mile five had to do a little bit of readjusting all the factors considered it was warm it was a little humid you know it was a little sticky out there but the biggest thing like i still think like all those things it wasn't like too hot it wasn't too humid the last few miles got warm uh, but where it really came in is just kind of this head cold i seem to have picked up yay for daycare uh no really like it's it's not a big deal and uh it's just kind of felt like it was mostly in the sinuses and it just kind of felt that way. I think just having it over the last couple of days just zapped just that last uh, maybe 2%, maybe 5% of energy I had. The first five miles felt pretty good. And then I could just tell it wasn't sustainable for the full distance. So I made a decision to, I could, here's what would have happened. I could have run two more miles at pace and then probably the wheels would have really come off or recalibrate, pull back just that little bit I think it was about 10 to 15 seconds per mile. So that's, I mean, it's a decent amount. It definitely changes the outcome of the event, the total time, but I was able to stick to the new readjusted plan. So let's dive in. I'm gonna pull Strava up. Let's dive in and do a little um, kind of race analysis real quick. I did not have anyone, I told you, uh, Abini and the baby stayed home. So I didn't have anyone to kind of like offload camera gear too. So I didn't have that ability to kind of get out. Um, I had to park about a mile or so away. So I think getting back and forth to the start line with camera gear just wasn't gonna be feasible for me today. So just really want kind of wanna give you something else and I think we'll do a little Strava deep dive, moderate anyway, and just kind of talk about it and just see what happened out on the race course. All right, we have Strava pulled up. We are in the race file, um, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. So we got the race pulled up and we are looking at uh, the race analysis and we're on splits and pace. 
So we have the the whole event here, uh, miles one through 13.1. I think I had 13.3. Uh, I did learn from a coach, uh, very seasoned, experienced runner that for certified courses, uh, it has to be like whether it's a half or a full that the shortest distance possible. So streamlining, straight lining corners and doing things like that, you'll still end up with at least uh, 13 one or 26.2 so you know any uh, left rights or you know kind of not taking the the fastest line um, will add obviously to that so I think I was okay the stride foot pod always has me coming in just a little under so I need and I feel like I run pretty decent anyway let's get back to this um, so like I said the shift of plans was made at uh, coming into the mile, mile five. So we, if we look at mile one through four, we're pretty much right on, or even maybe just a touch quick um, for the race, but I was really trying to stay with the group, but also stay in uh, within myself. So I felt like that was pretty good. Um, 554, 47, 52, and a 56. Now this one at the 47, that is a little fast, it was a little downhill also, and that was a little bit of bridge work, trying to just get with a small group. You can always run faster with a group unless you're way outside of yourself and then you're gonna just blow up. So I wanted to make that short bridge just to a small group knowing that I could sit in. It was a little windy, so just knowing that I had some, some other runners to kind of shelter myself from the wind a little bit. And then coming into mile five, I just felt like I took a gel right there at mile uh, four or five and the plan was to take a gel at mile five and ten um, I think I took one at mile five and then like nine and a half something like that so kind of before the hill but anyway back to mile five I, I felt like I was just a little bit beyond myself uh, that I didn't have that last little bit to really hit the goal that I set for myself so adjust make the best of the day I think that is the best thing that I could have done today so I ended up doing that and we go from a 56, a 556 to a 606. So that is a 10 second per mile shift. And I think that really brought it down to very manageable and reasonable pace. So it slows down a little bit more here uh, to a 12, 612, 608, um, 602. So we're still in that range, a 610 and a 614. We're right here, you can kind of see it mild, like nine, it starts to pick up. I wish it showed elevation a little bit better um, through here. Let me see if I can find that. Yeah, so maybe this is a little bit better here. Um, we can kind of see through mile nine, it starts to really pick up. So this looks like a mountain. It's not, but it was definitely, you definitely felt all these stair steps. So at mile, uh, really, it's about eight and a half. So it starts just going uphill at mile eight and a half. So if we look at eight, uh, that was a 602. Uh, two guys caught me there and uh, pretty motivating and they encouraged me to, to pop in with them. So I did that and had a good mile. I didn't still feel within myself there. So that was just kind of when you're not feeling it and you have someone to motivate you, use that. And then I'm um, coming into mile nine you can see the the great adjusted pace is a 603 so we're still kind of looking um very good here so if we look at grade adjusted i think that's a proper way to do this 603 8 5 6 even 0304 so to me that says i'm very much within myself and doing a pretty good job on the new adjusted pace and then this one is the big hill that is the big chunk of the hill and it's like a double stair steppy hill. Um, not too steep to like really mess up the rhythm, which was good, just long. It's, it's a, if we look at it, it you know, it's, it's a mile and a half, two miles long um, of the whole incline. And to still run a 634 uh, and then a 619 grade adjusted at pace, um, I'm happy with that. If I was running on target and I actually would have hit my goal time of a 559 average pace. I think I would have needed to do like a, a 605 um, average, like actual pace with the with the grade adjusted being on target of that 
559 or 555 pace. So I think the way the foot pod has me pacing out, I know I need to run a little bit quicker um, on the watch compared to what I've been getting at pretty much all the races. So if I run exactly on pace from the watch and foot pod, I think I'll be just that little bit behind um, actual course clock. So if that makes sense. And then uh, 12 here, again, right back into that groove of that 605 grade adjusted, 601 average. We start coming down that hill and then right here, you can kind of see right at mile 12, um, we just bomb down. It is a short and then it does climb. So, But that, that downhill was super steep and it was a lot of fun. And then, so that would be right here in this negative 39 feet. That's all within a very short amount. And then climbing, and then you do climb some more uh, at the, the very tail end of that. And then mile 13 uh, to the 13 point whatever, I guess I have the point two nine there. Um, just had to rally, just had to, had to bring it on home and know that today wasn't my day and not beat myself up over that. Let's let's smooth this out a little bit and kind of get a little bit better idea. Let's look at grade adjusted. I think that's a little bit better to look at. Um, we have my fastest mile, mile two. Generally, that's not exactly what you wanna see. That means eager, overexcited, went out quick. But I was also trying to go with a group instead of just being a straggler from from uh, gun to, 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 you know, ribbon to ribbon, I guess you'd call it. And whatever, we did okay. And then we can really see the adjustment made here, slow it down, really get within myself, and then rally with some, some others, and then start climbing. I think this is like the, the zap to my uh, emotions, and then this is really just kind of grind it out and then bring it on home. So I'm okay with it. And let me go ahead and close this out and we'll wrap up here. All right, well that pretty much wraps everything up. I just want to say thanks so much for sticking to the end of the video. I didn't have my camera crew or people to ditch uh, the camera gear off to, so I felt like that would be a good thing to wrap it up. You know, we don't always hit our goals and that is okay. I think we got to put it out there, you know, Dust, the, dust ourselves off and just say, we will race another day. Maybe look at the training plan. What went well, what, what didn't. Were things outside of your control? And if so, give yourself some grace. It will be okay and you'll have another day soon. So I think with that, I, I'd like to know what you guys would like to see coming up in uh, coming up on the channel in the future. As we kind of go into this time of year where maybe we're not hitting it quite so hard and just kind of getting in that good base mileage, enjoying being outside, enjoying uh, being active with friends and family and things like that. So um, let me know what you do kind of these last couple months of the year and what your training goals are, how you readjust and refocus. So I think with that, we'll go ahead and close it out. So as always, go forward and power love and a sound mind and we will see you in the next one. Peace.